The Ohio State Reformatory, also known as the Mansfield Reformatory, is a historic prison located in Mansfield, Ohio. The reformatory was built between 1886 and 1910 and remained in operation until 1990, when a United States federal court ruling, the Boyd Consent Decree, ordered the facility to be closed. While this facility was seen in several films, including several while the facility was still in operation, television shows and music videos, it was made famous in 1994 by the film The Shawshank Redemption when the penitentiary was used for most scenes of the movie. The history of the Ohio State Reformatory started in 1862 when the field where the reformatory would be built was used as a training camp for Civil War soldiers. The camp was named Camp Mordecai Bartley in honor of the Mansfield man who served as Ohio governor in the 1840s. In 1867, the city of Mansfield was promoted as a candidate for the placement of the new intermediate penitentiary, the original name before it was changed to Ohio State Reformatory. The city raised $10,000 to purchase 30 acres of land for the prison, and the state acquired 150 acres of adjoining land for $20,000. The final cost of the facility was a little over $1.3 million. The intermediate penitentiary was intended as just that, a halfway point between the Boys Industrial School in Lancaster and the state penitentiary in Columbus which was intended to house young first-time offenders. Construction began in 1886 and remained under construction until 1910 due to funding problems which caused construction delays. The original architect for the design was Levi Schofield from Cleveland, Ohio, who used three architectural styles including Victorian Gothic, Richardsonian Romanesque and Queen Inn. The exterior of the building, which is built from brick and concrete, is designed in the Romanesque style giving the frontage a castle-like appearance. Schofield designed the reformatory with these unique styles to help encourage inmates to become reborn back into their spiritual lives. The creation and construction of the entire building was entrusted to well-known architect F. F. Schnitzer, whose name also appears on the cornerstone, and is recorded as superintendent and supervising architect on documents found there. In 1891 the name was changed from Intermediate Penitentiary to the Ohio State Reformatory. In September of 1896, the reformatory opened its doors to its first 150 offenders. These prisoners were brought by train from Columbus and put immediately to work on the prison sewer system and the 25-foot stone wall surrounding the complex. Schnitzer was presented with a silver double inkwell by the governor of the state in a lavish ceremony to thank him for his services. From 1935 until 1959, Arthur Lewis Glatko was the superintendent of the reformatory. Initially a political appointment following Glatko's work on the Martin Davy campaign, by all accounts Glatko was respected by professionals and inmates alike. He implemented many reforms such as piped-in radio music in the cell blocks. Glatko's wife, Helen Bauer Glatko, died of pneumonia three days following an accident in November of 1950 where a handgun discharged when she was reaching into a jewelry box in the family's quarters. Arthur Glatka died following a heart attack suffered in his office in February of 1959. Over the years, approximately 200 people died at the reformatory, including two guards who were killed during escape attempts. The reformatory remained in full operation until December of 1990 when it was closed by a federal court order. As the result of a prisoner's class action suit citing overcrowding and inhumane conditions, District Judge Frank J. Battisti of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Ohio ordered the prison closed by the end of December 1986. This order was known as the Boyd Consent Decree. However, the closing date was moved to 1990 due to delays in constructing the replacement facility, the Mansfield Correctional Institution, which is located to the west of the old prison. During the prison's almost 100 years of operation, the Ohio State Reformatory housed some 154,000 prisoners within its walls, though not all of those made it out alive. Disease, suicide, 
murder, and other means of death tore through the facility, ending the lives of the 215 marked graves in the prison cemetery, though the actual death toll for the building is rumored to be much higher. More than a few spirits are rumored to have taken up residence in the prison and remain long after its official closure. Those who visit often report hearing disembodied voices, footsteps, seeing apparitions or shadow figures and even being touched whether it's just a grab or brush, but sometimes in more violent ways. One of the areas that has puzzled paranormal investigators for many years is simply known as the chair room. This is an unassuming space in the administration building and the only room in the facility to contain no windows. Some speculate that it was used for dark means, since violent paranormal activity is said to occur there. Some to enter and sit on the chair have reported to be touched and even scratched by some unseen force. Still, others have reported feeling the chair shake underneath them. Another part of the reformatory said to be quite active is the West Wing Attic. Here, many inmates with violent backgrounds were kept due to overcrowding. Since the attic was not outfitted with cells, the prisoners were kept in a more dormitory-style setting leading to a lot of unruly behavior. So, it makes perfect sense as to why this is one of the more active areas in the prison. Many other visitors have reported hearing and seeing paranormal phenomena in the east cell block and underground solitary confinement cells, better known as the Hole. This was a place where guards and prisoners were murdered and some even took their own lives. Most of the grounds and support buildings, including the outer wall, have been demolished since the closing. In 1995, the Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society was formed. The society has turned the prison into a museum and conducts tours to help fund rehabilitation projects and currently work to stabilize the buildings against further deterioration. The East Cell Block remains the largest freestanding steel cell block in the world at six tiers high. The Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society is currently working to restore the facility to its original state. Restorations to date include the removal of debris, replacement of roofing, complete restoration of the warden's quarters, as well as the complete restoration of the central guard room between the East and West Cell Blocks. The restorations are being funded through donations and tour fees. The windows of the south side east cell block have been replaced, and all of the original stained glass windows that were in the building are planned to be replaced. Throughout the Halloween season, the building hosts a haunted house through called Blood Prison. The Ohio State Reformatory offers three types of guided tours including History Meets Hollywood which summarizes the history and movie history, Beyond the Bars which focuses more on the history and access to areas off the tour route, and the Inmate Tour which is guided by a former inmate at the prison. Additionally, the Ohio State Reformatory offers ghost tours on top of the normal daytime tours. They offer public ghost hunts for casual ghost hunters, private ghost hunts for more experienced ghost hunters, ghost walks for children 13 years and up, ghost hunt classes for children 13 years and up, and special ghost hunt events hosted by famous ghost hunters, celebrities, or historians.